I'm here merely for a short break. It has been a while, Miss Farina. And you too, Traveler and Paimon. What might I assist you with today? I would like to book the Opera Epicleus for an event. You see... I understand. Hmm. The process for booking the Opera Epicleus is complex and can be somewhat cumbersome. But given that the request is coming from the three of you, I see no reason to make things unduly difficult. The story of the little Ocean it is most fascinating. I'm looking forward to seeing it performed on stage. I will say, however, that I am surprised to see your passion for the performing arts rekindled after all that has happened. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> do I look excited? Yes. And this is the first time that I've seen you like this since your departure from deityhood. At first, I just felt bad about rejecting them. So, I wanted to learn a little bit more about their situation. But one thing led to another, and... Well, in the past, we sat in our high chairs in the court, giving our opinions on isolated cases, all while knowing very little about the human stories behind each and every... Maybe it's because I finally become an ordinary person and gained my freedom. But I've developed a great sense of curiosity about their lives. I am truly delighted to see you find a new lease on life. Now that you've regained some confidence, have you had any thoughts regarding a return to the stage? Why would you suddenly ask a question like that? Well, if the little Ocean it turns out to be a great success, it will no doubt become a classic. Many theater companies are certain to add it to their repertoire. The experiences and decisions of the protagonist, Cleo, are all modeled after your own. Naturally, this makes you eminently suited to playing the leading role. It would truly be a shame if you did not take this opportunity to allow audiences to enjoy your outstanding acting talents once more. Haven't I already made myself clear? I won't act or perform in any role ever again, nor do I think it is any great shame. There is no lack of fine actors or inspirational stories, either on or off the stage. This experience is a case in point. I feel like I've learned a lot, and it has already been well worth the price of admission. I must admit, though, I'm a little envious. <laughs> They're quite fortunate to be able to bid farewell to their past and so- I see. Well, I'm glad to learn that you have found a role to play that you enjoy. I sincerely hope the show will serve as the grandest of finales. Thanks, Nervala. You are very well. everyone. It's done. The Opera Epicles is booked. Thanks to my eloquent and impassioned speech, Monsieur Nervillette was moved to provide us with a fitting stage for this special performance. We've had to fight every step of the way for this opportunity, but we now have all of the ingredients necessary to stage a truly spectacular performance. A touching story, a magnificent venue, and last but not least, a passionate and dedicated cast. Now, let's work together and make this show the best it can be. <laughs> this is truly wonderful. The sooner we can finalize the ending, the more time we'll have to rehearse. Fiumali and I just went over some parts of the script and tweaked a few things. I think it's really going to resonate with the audience now. Wow, you two had a constructive conversation? That's great! Communication is vital to any good performance. <laughs> Look at us. We've come so far. It's amazing. Even though Farina's still 
still being a bit of a drama queen about it all. She's really fired everyone up! Please feel free to give us any comments or suggestions you have. We really value your input. Hey, Loic, get over here. Time to practice the opening number. Cursed Cleo. She stole the waters of life from us. She's a fraud, and she must pay for her crimes. This has nothing to do with her. The ignorance and hatred of our people is to blame. How can we hope to win back the water's favor if we don't change our ways? This guy could be useful. Take him hostage. If Cleo wants him back, she'll have to show herself. Leave this place, oh little Oceanid. And never, ever look back! Everyone's really throwing themselves into their roles. I haven't seen such a fine performance in a long time. <sighs> if only... What should we do? It's almost time for her to take the stage! <sighs> Why? Why does it have to be now? Hey, what's going on? You're due on stage any second now. Oh no, not again. But why? What about your new meds? Did they stop working? They've... been getting less and less effective over time. I've had to keep increasing my dose. What? I thought they cure it. So they were only managing your symptoms? I figured... Whatever it took to get me through this final performance. How could you do this to yourself? And after that lecture you gave me about not looking after my health. I'm sorry. I've let everyone down. You... <sighs> this is a conversation for another time. How can the show go on without its star performer? Uh... Miss Farina? I'd like to make a request of you. Say no more. If you're sick, you need to rest. I know what you're going to ask. Loic, your character has no more scenes, correct? Oh, uh, yeah. I think my scenes are all done. Although, I do have one more line. But I guess another guy in the troupe with a similar voice register could take it. Please take Dolphy back to her place to rest. I'll sing the finale. <sighs> From the sublime to the ridiculous. Thank you, Miss Farina. I'm so sorry to put you in this position after everything you said. Never mind. What's done is done. It's really my own fault for getting in too deep. <laughs> no one likes regrets. Myself included. Leave it to me. I've watched you rehearse so many times that I've learned Cleo's part by heart. I do not doubt your acting skills, but please allow me to ask just one more question. After all, this show is dedicated to the life and legacy of our director. What, in your opinion, is the reason Cleo shines so brightly? It's her pure heart, despite all the pain and loneliness she had to endure. She never once stopped believing in the beauty in this world. Well said. I leave Director O'Reilly in your hands.
But what about your wish? My... wish? If you become human, you can reveal your secret to no one. You will face suffering and loneliness. Is this truly what you want? Is it just me? Who was that Lady Farina on the stage just now? She hasn't been seen for a while now. And she just appears out of nowhere? Gotta say, though, her acting skills are as superb as ever. The Little Oceanid, Cleo, played by Aurélie Fumont. Wait, that's not her name. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's just a doppelganger. I've spent a lot of time out of the spotlight, and they didn't use my name during the curtain call either. Hopefully, not too many people recognized me. It's too bad that I had to break the one clear rule I'd managed to make for myself, even if I had no choice. Still, I have to admit that, despite everything, it felt good to be back on the stage again. Finally! We would like to give a special thanks to our artistic consultant and event coordinator, Miss Farina. Hey, that's not what we agreed on. Oh, so it was Farina after all. She's back. Uh, honestly, what is he doing? He should have run that by me first. All right, calm down. Don't be mad. This was a group decision. We just didn't want your contributions to go unacknowledged. After all, it's been the rule in Fontaine since ancient times that everyone's work, visible or invisible, is equally deserving of recognition. Yes, I know the rule, but... but... Uh, it should still be applied on a case-by-case -case basis! Uh, it's no big deal. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, yeah? Well, since you think it's so easy, you can sign them for me. This is a great chat and all, but can we talk about that crazy thing that happened during the show? It nearly gave Paimon a heart attack. Paimon flew over to where she was supposed to be and was about to drop the prop vision, and then suddenly, a real one popped out of thin air! Oh, uh, that. <laughs> I've got no idea what happened there either. But hey, it worked pretty well, didn't it? I'll bet the audience has never seen such a realistic prop. Wait, what about Dolphy? I wonder how she's doing. Oh, um, let's go check on her as soon as we finish clearing the stage. Yes. Plus, she'll definitely want to hear how the end of the show went. If nothing else, we can safely say that we accomplished what we set out to do.
Ah, you're back. She's doing okay. Her condition stabilized after taking some of her original medication. From experience, though, I'd say she still needs a few more days of rest. How did the performance go? Was it a success? Did the audience like it? You'll be glad to know it was fantastic! Also, you're not gonna believe what happened while Farina was on the stage! You'll probably be able to read all about it in the Steambird first thing tomorrow morning! That's wonderful. I'm so sorry I failed to see it through to the end. I guess I was wrong to try and tough it out to begin with. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like they told me after announcing my name during the curtain call, everyone's work deserves recognition. Even though you couldn't see it through to the final scene, the audience was very impressed by your performance. It's a... <laughs> Well, one way or another, we did it. I've had bad luck ever since I was born, so I never expect things to go smoothly in life. I'm just happy to know that we went out on a high note. That's all that matters. Blaming your bad luck again, are we? Maybe if you didn't push yourself past your limits so much, your illness wouldn't be flaring up all the time. Oh, don't you start. I don't have the energy to argue with you right now. Aw, you two clearly care a lot about each other. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You mean, we never stop arguing with each other. So, any plans for the next step? After the brilliant performance you put on, the reputation of your troupe is sure to spread through Fontaine like wildfire. You won't have to disband if you don't want to. You could capitalize on the rave reviews and license out the little Oceanet to the bigger theater troops out there. That would do wonders for your financial situation. No, we should still disband. Yeah, it's what we all agreed to. After all this happened, I should give you guys some space. But maybe our paths will cross again one day. I still want to keep performing, so I might join another troupe. After watching Miss Farina's performance, I think I'm starting to understand our director's infatuation with musicals. <laughs> you should do it. It suits you. I'd originally hoped to keep performing too, but I don't know if my health will allow me to. Oh, so now you finally got your priorities in order. I guess I'll hold off until you've properly recovered as well. What about you, Miss Farina? Any future plans? Well, frankly, I think a return to obscurity is no longer an option for me. I'm sure a slew of consultancy requests will hound me wherever I go until I finally acquiesce. You rather sealed my fate there with your special thanks at the end of the show. Sorry. It's quite all right. No need to apologize. What I meant to say is that this whole experience has shown me that perhaps I'm not as averse to a return to the stage as I'd previously imagined. Maybe Nervilette was right. Maybe Cleo is the right role for me. I still don't wish to pretend to be someone else, but I do have a desire to express myself. So... Maybe the show will go on for me after all. Yeah. 
There was once a time when I was an actress in a masquerade, seeking only to hide the truth. But from now on, I want to spend my time learning real stories about real people and how they touch the lives of others around them. I want to watch them blossom and wither, see them refined on the page, retold on the stage, and remembered long into the future. I'm sure this is what captivated director O'Reilly as well. Sounds like you're ready to stop running from your true calling. The more you get out into the world, the more you'll discover what a fascinating place it is. <laughs> then it's a deal. If a vision is a gift from the gods, then I should do my best to honor it. 